and uh, welcome back. This is part two of this STC A5130 just restoring. Last time we were here we changed all the uh, capacitors that I thought needed changing um, and some of the wiring is falling apart or the insulation is falling apart but I had a look around and really nothing is uh, is a you know a I'm not going to short anyway, so I'm, I thought I might put power on it just to make sure I'm even <coughs> might be wasting my time in the first place. So I'm just going to check it and uh, just see uh, if I can uh, if it'll even run. So uh, I'll just what I've got I've got a, uh, a variac and uh, I've got it going through a isolation transformer and uh, I've got a meter on the front which does watts and volts so I've actually had it on I've put power on I've built it up to 240 volts already um, and uh, uh, nothing went wrong so I'm confident I can just put it straight on now and I just want to check some voltages uh, I did have the uh, I checked it. I'll, I've taken the uh, rectifier, but just just something interesting that showed up when I powered it. Uh, let's turn the meter on. I'm just going to turn 240 on. Isolation's on, and we're coming in at. I don't know if I can see that. 240 volts exactly, and just change over. See what it goes like in in watts. lost it. So it's only pulling 13.5 watts because it hasn't got the rectifier on it so that's just the uh, the filaments. Alright so let's I'll just show you what I've got here. Um, there's the rectifier here and there's one side of the secondary and the other side of the secondary if I go to the chassis here and do one side of the secondary, which is that one, it says 268 volts. If I go to the other side, it's 191. So, not sure what's going on there. Um, so, that's measuring to earth, so it's the centre tap. It's uh, from uh, centre tap out on either side, so I yeah, don't quite know what's going on there. Anyway, I'm going to put the rectifier back in. I'll just turn it off, save so arcing myself. And so the rectifier is back in, power back on. And it's pulling 20. 19, 18, and there it goes. Settling about 30 amps again. I just turned one of my lights off, it's a fluoro at it. Turn that down. There's a fluoro that interferes with the uh, the uh, radio signal. Now, I've got these. I've got all the voltages here, and I've printed them out on a sheet. I've added the sh voltages to the sheet because it didn't have any. So I've just stuck it up in the corner there. Hopefully you can see that. Down on the rectifier down the bottom there, coming out of the secondary, should be 246 volts either side. So once again, I'll just check. I'll just check that. So, uh, right on that side. There you go. Oh. Turn my meter on. So that should be AC and 243. We're supposed to be 246. So that's great. But that other side is 183. So there's something, something going on in the uh, transformer there. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. 
um, the rectified DC is supposed to be 230 there's the P plus line there so let's just have a look at that that's 230 is it con and that's that one there that one's reading it's reading I'll put it on DC that's reading 206 it's supposed to be 230 so that's <coughs> that's pretty what you'd expect I guess that's uh, one side of the secondary is down let's pull that down so you would think the uh, plate on this 6BW6 which is pin 7 uh, where are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that's supposed to be 192 uh, so it's supposed to be 214 it's 192 so that's down as well the screen which is number ooh, was that an 8? I think that's an 8 how to read that? Uh, so eight is there. Two hundred and six supposed to be two thirty. So once again, it's it's down. Uh, so next would be the six N eight, which is that one there. That's supposed to have uh, sixty four on the plate. Now I wouldn't be surprised if that's about right. What's the plate number? Oh gosh, I can't read that. Four six two. Looks like a six is the only one missing. Oh no, six over there. Oh gosh. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Well, the plate should be the one with that cap on it. There it is here. So I've probably got my head in the way there. Hang on. Uh, 64, spot on. Yeah. And the screen then must be must be number eight. No, that's not it. Yeah, but how to read that number, isn't it? Seven. Ah, oh, sorry, the screen going is number one. Right, so that's that one. And you've got 18, it's supposed to have 16, so it's actually a bit high. Uh, the next one, 6B6, 6BA6, is over here. 6BA6 is, number five is the plate, and number six is the screen. Uh, I can't see this one. One, two, three, four, five. Two hundred and two. Supposed to be two thirty. And I think I said six for the plate. There for the screen. Yeah, it's supposed to be sixty-eight and at seventy-seven. Yeah, kind of all over the place. This thing. Uh, plate on the twelve AH eight is number. Once again, I can't see it. I should have rewritten the numbers, shouldn't I? Eight, I think. I got two plates on this one. So, um, gosh, I can't read that. It's supposed to be 230, and it looks like a six. I don't know. I can't. Maybe just touch them all and see what we get. It's minus. That's nothing. That's nothing. Uh, that one's going up there. That's uh, 97. So that's coming off the oscillator. So that should, should be an 84, I think. 87, okay. That's not bad. And this one here. I can't see it. Nothing. That's all. Oh, that might be the plate there. Yeah, so two, yeah, so they're down. Everything's down. Some of the lower voltages are okay. Uh, so what do I do? Do I bother with it? Is anyone going to run this thing? Um, so I'll just try it. Okay. A 
me, the biggest difference is his inclusion. He's empowered referees to make decisions on the run. He's made, look, we were talking about it off air, Dean, that if you're a ref and you want to find a panel, I'll look at a cover and really not assume too much about it before I pick it up and yeah. actually delve into it, yeah. Well, I get to be the outlier here. I do read the... Well, it works all right. And at 60 cents, it's paying their Singapore race one. Uh, you suggested that I'll check before we go. Try to. Ooh, good noise there. Got uh, three too hard to handle. 150, third eight foot foot 420. Grella 880, eight, exact at 2830. Topic at twenty. First four, number seven. Huh. At Certainly, certainly sounds alright. I can't can't find anything wrong with the sound. It sounds pretty good. Uh, it's pulling 31.6 watts. To be about right for this. And I don't know what else to do. Um, I guess um, once this is restored, I guess it'll. Um, it's not nobody's going to sit there using it all day, are they? I'm just not sure what that transformer is doing. Whether it's Kind of fail down the road, or or what, or is it just the way it's been? Maybe it's been like that from new. Who knows? Maybe they didn't count it properly when they wound it. It's a bit hard to speculate on that. Um, okay, I might. Um, I think I'll continue with it and just. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> see, see what else goes on. I, I, I guess it's working. So. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it sounds like on the camera, but uh, it's certainly working fine. Plenty of volume. Uh, it's got a bit of, bit of noise there. Uh, yeah, so valve, valve's bases need cleaning. Yeah. Sounds terrific. Wellington race five numbers confirmed four five twelve and three is four. I think that this sky mission four five twelve three. That tone control is just topping, taking so much off the top. About to jump. Uh, still a handicap. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. And up by sixteen points. You Jamie, when he's twelve years old. Yeah, it starts when he's twelve years old. So I'll just turn the volume right down. There's um. So very little hum. There's a little little bit of hum there, but I've got it on some big speakers there, so they tend to accentuate that slightly. So I think I'll keep going, and uh, what I might do is uh, start changing some of the wiring, um, put an aerial lead back on it. And okay, so I've replaced um, all the wires that were just crumbling apart um, uh, with some new stuff, so that's looking pretty good. There was a couple that I um, just patched the ends. Or, or replace the insulation as needed. Another one there. So, uh, pretty happy now. I think we're safe. Uh, just uh, a little further on this transformer, which um, is giving out. Uh, well, I'll show you. It's not plugged in at the moment. Um, if I, I'll just, that's the center tap there. If I touch the secondary. One of the secondaries. I get what 287 ohms resistance. If I touch the other secondary, it says open. No continuity at all. Nothing. Now, if I apply power to it, you would think that that secondary would not wouldn't wouldn't provide any output. I've got the uh, rectifier out as well, so it's it's floating, the secondary is floating. I've got it, on, got it on the wrong thing there. Okay, so uh, this is the good side that measured okay. And we've got 265 volts AC. If we measure the one that's open, it's got 188. So how does it have a voltage yet show open when you measure it? 
I don't quite get it. Anyway, so I've put that on a forum uh, to, to see if anyone that's got some experience knows why or how a, compa how a, a, a transformer can provide an output when it shows open. I, I know I'm only using a, a multimeter, but uh, it just doesn't make sense. So I don't, if it's open you would think there'd be nothing. Um, if it's shorted inside, um, you would think that it would, uh, I suppose it could still, if it's shorted to the, sh to the, uh, to the chassis, uh, I guess it could still supply an output, but it would then still show continuity. So I'm, I'm um, confused, I don't know how that's, what that's doing. So I've asked the forum people to see if they can shed some light on what the issue is. Uh, I've also put on the uh, forum to see if anyone's got another transformer. I did consider leaving it, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. So uh, it, it, there's a fair bit of corrosion on this, some of the wiring, so maybe it's corroded in the windings. I'm a bit dubious about leaving it in there. So um, I'll see what the forums come back with and if I can get another one, a suitable replacement. I tried. I would have liked to have tried to keep it as original as possible. Uh, I don't quite know how I'm going to do that now. Anyway, alright, so I'll, uh, I think tomorrow I'll start um, trying to clean up the top and uh, paint and uh, sandblast whatever I can or media blast whatever I can to, to try and bring it back to its natural state.